What's up everybody? We're going to hang out in D.C. with my friend Yudu. He owns uh, House Studios in D.C. They do a lot of amazing recordings there and uh, are somewhat known for their vocal production and vocal technique. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to uh, ring him up and uh, get some instructions from Jake and uh, Chandra. Yudu, how you doing my friend? Good, how you doing Dave? Man, I'm doing great. Uh, last time we talked, the weather was kind of ugly. How how you doing now? Everything moving moving pretty good? We cleared out all the snow and we're back to work. You staying pretty busy? I imagine so with with uh, with, uh, with everything you got going on there, huh? We are. We, we've learned to trick people into thinking that we, we know what we're doing. <laughs> well, the word on the street is, and you know I you know I live on the streets a lot, so you know I know that. But the word on the street is that you guys are doing some incredible stuff. Jake, my friend, is the engineer there. Jake, how you doing? Very good, Dave. Nice to meet you, man. I'm a big fan of Pensado's place. Um, I do recording connection stuff, and I teach a lot of students. And actually, one of my students is here. But every student I have, I direct straight to Pensado's place. Because when I was coming out of school, it's, believe it or not, dating me a couple of years back now. But I was listening to you guys when you guys were first getting started in the old studio with you and Herb. So, big influence on what I do. So, very nice to, you know, actually sit down with you in the flesh. Well, thanks for that, Jake. I was talking to you to, a couple of days ago, and he had nothing but good things to say about you. So apparently, you uh, you learned a lot from watching Pensado's place. Not really, not really. But... You can take all the credit. You can take all the credit. Jake, forgive me, but I forgot your last name. Uh, Gratticelli is my last name. Cool. And and Chandra, pleasure to meet you, my dear. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. They're treating you okay there. I mean, you getting you learn some stuff. I can't complain. Yes, it's been a good experience. What's your last name, Chandra? Lipford. Say that again? Lipford. Too cool, too cool. What's, uh, at this point in your career, um, what is it that you've learned at the house that surprises you the most from what you were taught in school? What, 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 what's the most different than what you thought it would be? So I guess this with this program, um, I didn't go to school for it. So this program is more like an apprenticeship. So you get a lot of real time studying and real time uh, experience. So I guess my surprise was I didn't realize as an engineer all that went into it. Like I had some sort of idea, but I didn't realize the recording aspect of it and mic placement and all of that and how that all ties into the the final sound. Oh, that's cool. Well, I mean, that's a sign that you're at a good facility too. Um, in terms of what you've learned so far, um, did you realize as much care and as much expertise and skill went into uh, getting vocals to sound right? I did. I Going into it, I did think that some work went into mixing vocals and making them sound like how you hear them on the radio or um, on a CD. Um, and House does a good job of kind of showing you different ways to make the vocals come out the way you want them to. So it's been fun. Cool. Hey, Jake, have you got something you want to share with us in terms of uh, different things you, you do there at uh, House Studio DC? Well, happy you should ask, Dave. Um, yeah, no, I definitely have some stuff pulled up. Um, so we do a lot of really cool programs. Um, we're known really well for a couple of things, but we've done a lot of the hip hop records that you guys know and you know see on the radio, especially stuff from the DMV area. Um, and so when you're getting into hip hop records, you know, especially contemporary stuff, as you know, you would know, Dave, um, you get into a lot of vocal correction, but not just that, but augmenting performances because you don't always have so much time with a vocalist. Like say, an industry R&B singer is only in town for a couple days, or they're coming back from a show, and you have to get what you have to get, but sometimes you have to create those vocals. So what I was going to go through is I have some stuff set up and I want to kind of show you guys some cool waves tuning effects um, and different you know, vocal and pitch shifting effects so that you know, the listeners at home can see how to take the basic vocals or the vocals they have with one take and turn it into something like you hear from Imogen Heap or Rihanna or something like that. So that's kind of what I was hoping to go through. Chandra, you ready? Oh yeah, always ready. <laughs> cool. So we have a song set up here. Um, this is from an artist named Brittany Sweely. Um, she's really cool. We do a thing called the Artist Grant Program where we pull artists from all over the country. Um, and we give them free recording time with different producers and different engineers. And so we only had a few days in the studio with her. So I'm going to play you the hook and kind of show you a feel of what we already have and then what we wanted to go. 
So here's kind of the hook of the song as it was right now. Straight and throw us left away. Your savage. Your savage. Your savage. Your savage. So obviously a beautiful vocal, you know what I mean? Obviously she's an amazing performer and, and the demo is unbelievable. But you know, we wanted to give people a deeper view into what it could be. Um, so what I would do is I would take this vocal and I would create the harmonies that you hear in all the songs on the radio, create everything you need to hear. So I would take this main track, um, I would duplicate it. Let's do twice because we're going to build chords, we're going to get into some kind of cool music theory. Um, and often, you know, I'll take this main vocal and I'll just duplicate it over these two tracks, you know, to create the feel of multiple singers or multiple harmonies being made. Um, people use different auto-tunes and different pitch shifting software. I like Waves Tune a lot. Um, it's one of the ones that I use a lot. So I'll pull that one up right now. And what's cool with Waves Tune, I'll make two copies, like I said, because you'll see more later. But if we watch as the Waves Tune kind of goes, I'll pull it up on the screen. Waves Tune will write along with the vocal as it goes. So we'll play through the hook. Your savage. So again, as you know, it already sounds great, um, but the main key is C minor, right? So we want to add those background harmonies what we can. So if you even go to your guide on the waves tune, you can kind of hear. So we would be going up and let's try and grab. So. C would be our main note for the chord. Your savage. So while we hear that main chord play, as opposed to hearing just that, we would go up to the next note in the scale, which should be. You know, C, E, G would be your chord, as the guitar players know. So we'll kind of build off that E. And I'll take that main line and move it. So we'll get something like this. Your savage. And you get this feel, obviously, that we're going to go through the whole track, kind of an Imogen Heapy, Kanye West kind of thing. Yeah, oh, 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 play that again. That sounded good. It's Let me hear that cool, again. right? And we're going to go through the whole thing. I didn't hear any artifacts. Two of these, which is going to be crazy. But I'll play it one more time for you, too. So this is it with the tune, and then we'll watch it draw, and I'll draw it again. So I'm going to pull it up one more time. Yo, And so the same thing happens here, right? So I would make my harmony. But you notice that one didn't sound obviously as good because she bends her main note. So what we'll do is we'll actually make that note in for her. So if you look on Waves Tune, one of the reasons I love this so much is because you can physically see it as well as, you know, make it. So I'll make the note bend as you can watch her kind of waves move down and then back up. So you almost have this real creation of. And all of a sudden you have two different vocalists in, in a whole new world. Um, and obviously, you know, you've heard a ton of this stuff in every record you hear on the radio, but this is kind of a cool thing. And then so after that, let's even take it one step further. So we've built our main harmonies. Cool. Main harmonies. All right. We're really nice. Let's add the third now. Like I said, we're guitar players, so we know our chords. So you know, C, E, the last chord's gonna be C, E, what? There you go. My man Dave obviously knows, you know? So I'll pull that out. So with adding that G, I get this beautiful chord now. So from something where we had just one note and one chord and, and you know a demo cut, we now have something that sounds like it's fully vocally produced without having to have the artist in here for six hours and having to have her have perfect takes. 
So that's pretty so cool. It's kind of interesting. It's kind of something we do a lot. Um, I love Waves Tune. It's something I've worked with all the time. Um, this is a very you know basic way. I'll really get in and actually draw every single note and really get dive deep into my mixes. But you can see how something like this now in context of the whole song sounds really great. Yo, So at the end, you have something beautiful. Yo, savage. Yo, savage. Cool. And so it sounds effortless. It sounds, you know, yeah. beautiful. It almost sounds like a Dave Pensato mix. You know what I mean? Something well, like that. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. But man, thanks for sharing that with us. Chandra, what, what do you think about that? I think that's pretty daggone remarkable. <laughs> like, to not <laughs> that's have cool. to have so, the artist in So uh, I'm going to check back in with you two in a few, uh, a few months and, uh, um, and with Jake there at the house studios. And I want to see you do that. Do you think you could show me that next time I get, uh, get that way? If you ask me, I will definitely learn how to do it and make sure I can do it. <laughs> well, I'm slightly teasing, but I think you should learn how to do it anyway. I am planning on coming to D.C. real soon, so maybe I hope I can stop by and meet you guys in person. Yeah, we'd love for you to visit us. Absolutely. Hey, Jake, man, great job, my friend. Uh, that was really, really impressive. Um, I have just never thought to use that plug-in. I'm, I'm, I'm a big Waves fan, so I'm going to have to run, look that up and check it out. Yeah, no, I definitely should. Like I said, people use, obviously, you've taught many things, but Melodyne and Evo and everything in between, but Waves gives you an opportunity to really dive into the notes. This is why I like it, and, you know, really be creative as a vocal producer who doesn't have the time, you know? Yeah, we're blessed nowadays with so many, so many tools. You're entering into the profession, Chandra, at just the right time. Hey, guys, well, I'm going to sign off. Is, is you do somewhere around where I can thank him, or yeah, did he... Just I slightly off to the her. side. Okay, you do. Hey, man... Great facility. Um, Jake's an all-star, man. What a great engineer. Thank you for sharing that with us. Chandra, um, I, I want to see you on the charts in a couple of years, my friend. And, and you do. I, maybe I'll see you soon. I, I, uh, as you know, we're probably going to head out that way soon. So. Hey, guys, over and out. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you. Great to meet you. Okay, bye-bye, guys.